all probably know that Stalker 2 has been in development for over 10 years now. I mean, technically a little bit over 10 years. That is due to difficulties of war hacks and financial constraints, especially in the first few years of its development. Nonetheless, team is continuing to make the game possible sooner, and reports has it we're no longer getting the finished product within 2023, or if so, at its earliest around holidays. This game is in active development and upon release is going to be coming PCs and Xbox Series X only. Innocent to suffer? Then help me find the culprit. And who the fuck are you? And what do we have a decade later? The zone in our image after our likeness. My men are still lying out there, and I can't even bury them. in an anomaly, shot by loners, found with a stone around his neck, thrown off a cliff, torn apart by dogs. Available to wishlist on Steam due for its early access in about a few months from now, as a PC exclusive as well, but we have here the front, well, first work of its developers described by the team as a survival open world crafting shooter in which you assume the role of a resistance fighter sent back in time to stop the rise of an evil empire that has conquered the world using just technology. Kind of like Atomic Heart, except it's a survival game, is the trailer and a little bit of its in-game footage. from a team of sim games veterans. Nothing big, but mainly crafting sandbox games. And number three, we have these developers' newest base building survival adventure, due for PCs possibly early next year, what is called Grand Emprise. Time travel survival. This is actually a dinosaur era sandbox base building in nature where you get both equal amounts of Jurassic World and Ark survival and sit in an open world city. Check it out just in case you missed it. At number 4 we have Derelicts, a halfway post-apocalyptic co-op survival horror sim sits years after some sort of mystery mechanism has flooded earth and now you and a few other people come in as a rescue team that are tasked with investigating the source of the incident. Build, craft, explore and use whatever you find handy to just mainly survive. Here's a trailer, game set to be coming to pieces only possibly late 2023.
At number five, we have what was formerly named a game called Odlegzi. You'll probably remember this one from over two years ago as a island survival first person thrilling game that was supposed to be coming out last year. I actually translated this game myself because it's in Polish by the name Out Wild. Well, the game is back. It's got an English title. It's now called Wild Side, set to be released for all consoles and PCs sometime later in 2023. And this is how it looks. Among the thrills, on the other hand, from a few months ago, is a first-person survival action-adventure about the mysteries of a forest set in Finland that you've just traveled so you can take care of your grandpa. Well then, what happens as you arrive is you find out that there is no one around and you're now tasked with the old man's search and rescue from trolls. Anyway, this game's set to be coming to PCs only sometime later this year. If you're into survival horror games, I'm assuming you've heard about Sons of the Forest and that it's since last month sitting on Steam through its early access phase with very, very positive reviews ever since. Now, this game is everything you've seen in the trailers with technically what you all liked about the first game, The Forest, even better in multiplayer with a deeper story and more horror components. This game is a little buggy and still getting patches and updates almost every day, so keep it in mind. Being built with the use of Unreal Engine 5, that is actually for over two years now, by NetEase as a PC and mobile exclusive. At number 8 we have here once again Once Human, first revealed around the same time last year and described as this is a multiplayer open world survival game set in this strange post-apocalyptic future where not only you get to fight zombies to survive but freak nature monsters like Resident Evil bosses in multiplayer. Is the trailer came set to come out eventually by the end of the year.
Coming up at number 9 from literally 12 hours ago through its reveal trailer and an official website of course we've got here something called Atmos 4 described as a sky-high odyssey survival game set on this alien planet to some extent in the same style of No Man's Sky where you mostly do exploring and surviving by gathering resources and engineering building as you go. Anyway, it's a trailer, game set to come out early next year. At number 10, we've got over here with another trailer from earlier in the year. A game called Forever Sky, sitting on Steam through a demo as of now and said to be coming out fully or in its early access by the end of the year. Forever Sky is a first person post apocalyptic survival shooter in which you play the role of an airship captain guy, travel around the earth and do what you have to do to survive. This game is actually being built with the use of Unreal Engine 5. Check it out, it's coming to PCs and the next generation of consoles only. For you, the year is 1889. The world as you know it teeters on the brink. From the Game Awards last year, technically first revealed back then as one of the most innovative first person shooters, we've got here with a new trailer today, A Nightingale, a mainly crafting, base building strategy, a survival open world multiplayer that was initially a PC exclusive. Guys, Nightingale is set to come out around July this year and it's at the moment one of the biggest first person open world shooters and also survivals on the horizon. Check it out in case you missed it. Monstrous beasts. Eldritch creatures and dangers of which you cannot conceive. You must gather your wits, craft whatsoever you require, and build a life in the realms. Uncover the secrets of realm cards, and venture deeper into the unknown. Your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Number 12 we have here, maybe not that new either, a game called Outbreak Island. Well technically a survival first person detective inspired game where you're just there to investigate the mysteries of an island and stay alive at any cost using only a camera. Outbreak Island story is about some sort of experiment gone wrong in some island that has drove the island's population just into maniacs. Anyway, the game is partially an open world and there is hints of zombies as well. Take a look. Services. Coming up behind that we have a game called Rooted. I've actually mentioned this one last month. This is a survival almost cloned off of the Last of Us games about using Unreal Engine 5 and well still in very early stages of development. This game is set to be coming out in about a few months from now. Once released it'll support co-op, a day and night cycle, season shift, stuff like that. And in terms of story the team has promised to come out with some of that in the following month. In case of control. For safety reasons, the 
Army has deployed autonomous civilian security robots. They are here. Coming up behind that by developers Game Island from a few months ago, we've got here what's called Serum, a first-person survival game as described by developers where you're mainly supposed to craft, hunt, adapt and survive in this forest that's been poisoned by something like a serum. Hence the title. Not only the jungle, but also the animals and its inhabitants. So they've technically all turned into zombie-like maniacs. Anyway, here's a trailer. Game said to be coming to PCs only, but in India. At number 15, we have Starship Survivor, a co-op first-person shooter in which you, along with a bunch of other people, are tasked to investigate lost communications of an orbiting starship. This game's not really a survival, it's got actually hints of thrilling games, and it's a tad horror themed about some AI entity that's invading the galaxy, and now your goal is to not get rid of them, but to just survive with your team in co-op. Anyway, it's a little like Halo and Dead Space. Take a look. <laughs> Moving on, we have a game called Bucko, an action-adventure 1-4 to four player pirate open-world life sim where, as described by the Steam page, you explore islands, combat your enemies on land and sea, build bases and hopefully earn some reputation. Technically this game is a strategy, but a ship battling with crafting and base building elements, so it has really all the aspects of a pirate life's journey. Anyway, Bucko is set to come out for PCs only, possibly in about a few months. Announced roughly half a year ago, we've got over here Asteroid Impact Survival, a basically asteroid sim where you have to prepare yourself for the end of the world. See, in Asteroid Survival, you play the role of this regular dude type of guy, basically trying to live through an in inevitable catastrophe that will happen in the next 30 days. So you're just there to find a way out out of the situation or just, you know, go through with it. This game is coming to pieces only sometime later this year. When we forgot who we are, we were ungrounded and destroyed our world in the name of greed. And last but not least, finally out of its early access phase, we have Retreat to Enon, a survival sandbox wildlife sim where about 1500 years into the future, you're still fighting off wild animals to survive. It's a nice little chill game in case lists so far didn't really hit the spot for you or you don't really like the survival aspects of the games. This is more of an exploration, relaxing game and everything about base building and crafting sims. The future, what it's like to be in 1500 years into the future in the wild 
using futuristic designs and alien structures and all of its new hazards. Take a look. We are an awareness of ourselves. Every grain of sand, every forgotten star in the night sky, and every ray of life-giving energy is part of us. You are here to survive, and you are here to find this wisdom. There is a stillness waiting for you. Go and find it. Retreat.